Brother Phil. We're going to baptize Brother Phil today. Uh, Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus, uh, one of the, one of the uh, Pharisees and a ruler of the Jews. But Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But to be born again is being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Then Jesus said, uh, Nicodemus said, How can a man be born again when he is old? How can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. For Christ hath once suffered for our sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put forth to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not by the putting away the filth of the flesh, but by answering the good conscience towards God by the resurrection of the Jesus by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Romans 10, chapter 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why, why now tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling upon the name of the Lord. But ye shall receive power, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all in Judea, and in Samaria, and to the other part, uttermost parts of the earth. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit to thou faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangled himself with affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shalt thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Therefore, let all the his house of Israel know, as surely, that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they had heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children, to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words that he testified and exhorted, saying, Save yourselves from this unt untoward generation. And they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same 
there were added unto them about 3,000 souls, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And they all that believed were, were together, and had all things in common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking the bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and the single of heart, praising God, and having favor, and with all the people. And the, and the Lord added the church daily, such as we should save. Amen. Amen. Phil Drew. I baptize you in front of these witnesses in the presence of the Almighty God for the, for in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you for receiving me to your flock, Lord. Thank you. 